fashion friends it's melissa oliver with elevation jewels i'm an independent consultant with paparazzi accessories and i am the team leader of team elevate this is a team training video for how to set up your square store if you are already using square it's a super simple process but before we even start talking about the actual store and this is and it's just what my store looks like um, there's different categories up here. Um, I lead people to my actual inventory to shop now. There's space for people to shop the actual replicated website. Um, there's space for people to sign up if they're interested in becoming independent consultants themselves. But I want us to talk about how to add inventory to your square already before we start talking about how to set up your store, right? Because one thing leads into the next. So if you have not already set up any inventory in your square, here's how you do it. So this is um, my right in, in paparazzi we have our back office this would be my square back office right this is all of the information all of the inventory rather that i have in my possession these are things that i've checked in that i've received that you know the quality is good nothing is damaged everything here is accounted for um and so to create an item you are going to just click on the link that says create item. Now, I recommend that you um, do this as early as possible in your paparazzi journey, because if you wait until you have a thousand PV or more, like I did before you start opening your store or adding your inventory, it's going to take you a very long time. It's going to feel discouraging. It's going to give you headaches. If you are just now starting and if you've bought, if you got your starter kit, or maybe you've made a couple of orders after your starter kit, but you don't have, you know, several hundred PV yet, then you're in a good position to begin starting this. That's not to say that if you have lots of PV and you've got lots of inventory that you can't do it. It's just easier to do when you don't have an overwhelming amount of inventory. That way, when you continue to place orders and that you receive your new inventory, you can do intake and it won't take you as long at all. So to create an item, you're going to click on the link that says create item. If you haven't done this yet, you won't have as many things. You won't have anything actually in your inventory list that you just saw. So before I do anything here, I'm actually going to go to my back office, right? And I was at this page. So I'm just going to back up a little bit so that you can see how to get here. Um, these are the orders that I've already made. So I'm going to take you to the order history so that you can see how to get it, right? I'm looking at my order history and there's a specific order that I want to look at and I'm going to go there, right? So that's how you get to the actual order. Now, when you are trying to find a lot of things that are on, um, that are in your order, <clears throat> that are sold out on the website, you can't get to the description anymore. So it's super important that you're able to get to it through your back office because voila, we've got the description of the piece. For me in my store, it is super important that I have that. I don't care about paparazzi's item number because I give everything in my store its own SKU number. But what I do care about is the name because that goes in my store. And what I care about for sure is the description. So I'm going to copy that. And I've also already downloaded all of the product images. So you're going to see that in a second. So we're going to go back to my square. I'm going to put in the name. I'm going to give it a category. And it's really important that you give things a category. Otherwise, they will not appear in your store. They'll appear in your inventory on Square, but when you create your store, which I'll do in the next video, they will not appear. So giving it a category is super important. Um, and when you do that, you can, if you don't have any categories, you can create your categories, right? It'll, it'll ask you which categories you want to create. You're gonna put your information here, the description. It's going to automatically generate for you where the location is and what the sales tax is because you've already created that in your square, okay? The price is $5. Everything that we sell, unless it's a Z piece or a Starlet Shimmer piece, it's $5. Do not charge above. Do not charge less. Do not incorporate the tax or the shipping into this price. You do not need to do that with Square because Square is already going to calculate the tax and it's going to ask for the shipping that you program, okay? You're going to give it a SKU number. Now, in this case, this item number is number 47 in my store. 
Okay. So that's the SKU number. I'm going to give it. That's how I know. Uh oh, how did that happen? So I made a mistake with my numbers. Oh, because I was looking at the wrong number. Okay. So this is going to be number 43. And that's what it does. It'll give you a, a, a notification if you put in the wrong SKU number. Okay. So this particular item is going to be number 43. And now I need to take in stock. Um, I actually have had this piece for a while, um, and for some somehow I did not put it on the website or put it in my square. So I've sold a few pieces, and I need to do an actual counting. What I want to do is turn on the tracking. Tracking is important because I I need to know how many I have because I'm not always looking at my inventory when I'm selling my inventory, right? So I need to know how many I have. I don't want to promise somebody something that I do not have. So I'm turning the tracking on and then I'm going to select a reason for taking in stock. Am I receiving stock? Am I recounting my inventory? I'm receiving stock, right? So I'm, I have, I'm going to say six of these. I want to say I have to do an actual count. I'll do an actual physical count in a second, but I think that I have six of these remaining and now I'm done. Okay. Almost. I need to now add pictures. So to add the image, I'm going to open my files and excuse my computer while it's a little slow. I'm going to look for the actual order number, right? Because I already downloaded those images and they're here and they're popping up. Nope, that's not it. So I'm going to open this one and get these get these images. So I'm going to copy one, two, and, well, I can't do it each at a time. So I've got to do one at a time. So I'm going to copy this one first. And for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to do one because it's going to take a minute, right? So you've got your image and you're done. I'm going to call it done. And I'm going to go ahead and save. Now that item is in my inventory. It is not yet in my store completely, right? I'm going to have to do some, some changes for it to be in my store. But when you are putting in your inventory and you haven't created your store, you want to do every single thing that I just did, including putting in your picture, because when you go to create your website, you're going to be able to transfer everything over. Now to create your website. So let's say, for example, you've added everything and you've got all your inventory in. You are now ready to create your website. You're going to come up here. We're still in square. You're going to be on this side. You're going to click on online store. I am not going to click on that in this video because it's going to open up my store and it's already created. It's not going to give us the right steps that you need. But you're going to click on online store. It's going to allow you to choose Weebly as your option. Weebly is a free platform, so you don't have to worry about spending $9 a month or $30 a month to pay for your online store when you haven't even built your customer base yet. This is free, so you're only paying per transaction, okay? And then if you want to, down the line, open a Shopify store or a different you use a different platform, then feel free to do that. But if you are just now starting out, then it doesn't make sense for you to spend money before you're making money. Okay. So you're going to go ahead and open your online store. That's going to take you to your Weebly. And when you get to your Weebly dashboard, you're going to be able to set up your website. Okay. You're going to be able to choose a template. You're going to be able to add your story. You're going to be able to include links. You're going to be able to put your social media information. You're going to be able to do all of that. Okay. So when you get to your website, that's exactly what you're going to do. I'm going to do another video that shows you exactly how to set this portion up. But the very first step that I want you to do is go ahead and add all of your inventory to your square before you sync to your website. Okay. So take some time, do that. Don't feel like you need to do it all at one time. Take your time and get it done. And then you will be able to add to your store. Okay, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Share this video with your teams. If it's helpful, give it a thumbs up. Give me a comment below if you've got specific questions about your store or, or setting up your inventory in Square, and I will definitely get back to you. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. God bless.